Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have m plus n equals to 4 and m times of n equals to 24 and now we solve this problem for the values of m and n. So here first we call this equation as equation number 1 and we call this equation as equation number 2 and now in the next step uh, we solve these two simultaneous equations so here first uh, uh, equation number 1 implies that from equation number 1 we get the value of m and we substitute this value of m in equation number 2. So first we get the value of m equals to we move this n to the right hand side and we get 4 minus n and we call this as equation number 3. So in the next step uh, we substitute this value of m in equation number 2 so that Equation number 2 implies that we have m times of n, so our the value of m is 4 minus n into n equals to 24. And now we simplify this equation and we first find the value of n. So now we multiply this n on both of these two terms and we get 4 times of n minus n square equals to 24. So this is quadratic equation but not in standard form. So now we first convert uh, this quadratic equation into standard form so that we move these two terms to the right hand side and it will become n square minus 4 n plus 24 equals to 0. So this will become quadratic equation in standard form and now we simplify this equation or uh, we solve this equation and we get the value of n. So here we use the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation. So the coefficients of this equation are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 4 and c equals to 24. And you know that about quadratic formula it is n equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a, b and c here and we get minus times of b and our b is minus 4 plus minus square root of b square. So b is minus 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 24 divided by 2 times of a and our a is 1. So in the next step we need some simplifications here and we have minus times of minus becomes plus 4 plus minus square root of minus 4 square and minus 4 square becomes 16 and 4 times of 24 equals to 96 and this whole divided by 2 times of 1 is 2. So we need some uh, more simplifications here and we obtain 4 plus minus uh, square root of 16 minus 96 equals to minus 80 divided by 2. So here uh, uh, we rewrite this expression as n equals to 4 plus minus we have 80 and we write this 80 as uh, 16 times of 5. We know that 16 times of 5 becomes 80 and we separate the square of this minus 1 and this whole divided by 2. So in the next step uh, we need more simplifications here and we get 4 plus minus and we know that the square root of 16 is 4 into square root of 5 and we know that uh, square root of minus 1 equals to iota and this whole divided by 2. So uh, now in the next step we uh, separate this fraction and we write it as n equals to 4 over 2 plus minus 4 into square root of 5 iota over 2. So after cancellation we get 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of 5 into iota. So we get the values of n equals to 2 plus minus 2 times of uh, square root of 5 into iota. So these are the two values of n and now we find 
the values of m corresponding to these two values of n so that here we separately write these two values and we call the first value is n1 so our n1 equals to 2 plus 2 times of square root of 5 iota and we call the negative value as n2 equals to 2 minus 2 times of square root of 5 into iota so we have these two values of n1 and n2 so we substitute these two values in equation number 3 in so this is our equation number 3 which is m equals to 4 minus n so when we substitute these values in equation number 3 so we get the value of m so now we copy down equation number 3 here so equation number 3 is m equals to 4 minus n so now we substitute these two values here and we get the corresponding values of m so we call uh, when we put n1 so we call the solution is m1 so we have m equals to 4 minus n and we substitute the value of n here and we get 2 plus 2 times of square root of 5 iota and similarly uh, in that case we call m2 and we have 4 minus n and in, the, in that case we substitute this value of n and we get 2 minus 2 times of square root of 5 into iota so we simplify these two equations and we get the corresponding values of m1 and m2 so first we get value of m1 and we multiply this minus sign on both of these terms and we get 4 minus 2 minus 2 times of square root of 5 iota and here we get 4 minus 2 becomes 2 minus 2 times of square root of 5 into iota so this is the value of m1 corresponding to the value of this n1 and now we simplify this equation and here we get m2 equals to 4 and we multiply this minus sign on both of these terms and we get minus 2 plus 2 times of square root of 5 into iota so here we get our m2 equals to 4 minus 2 equals to 2 and plus 2 times of uh, square root of 5 into iota so this is the value of uh, m2 corresponding to the value of this n2 so finally we have the solution set is m1 and n1 equals to 2 minus 2 times of square root of 5 iota and this is the value of m1 and the value of n1 is 2 plus 2 times of square root of 5 into iota and similarly m2 and n2 the second solution set is 2 plus 2 times of square root of 5 iota and 2 minus 2 times of square root of 5 iota so these are the two solution set of the given question and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos